New at 11, he is a fugitive. The U.S. Marshals have dedicated all resources to finding since 2012. His name is Kevin Blair. He's being hunted by Detroit One, a violent crime reduction initiative. 7 Action News reporter Anne Marie LaFlame is here with details. Detroit One brings law enforcement and the community together, working to get the most violent criminals off our streets, meeting every week to discuss their targets. One of those men is Kevin Blair. He's been on the run for more than two years, named one of Detroit's most wanted. Kevin Blair was riding in a gold Chevy Impala, pulled up next to the victim and opened fire on him. A drive-by shooting in this alley near Fenkel and Myers on Detroit's west side. Several shots were fired. Police say the victim was hit in the leg, lucky to have survived the ambush. He's awful. Um, he has no regard for human life. Uh, he pulled the gun on a man and shot him and then ran like a coward. 43-year-old Kevin Blair turned himself in for the attempted murder, let out on bail in 2012, never to be seen again. He does have the means to flee. He does have the means to support himself. We've been working tirelessly to bring this man to justice. Deputy U.S. Marshal Rob Watson says Blair owned a car wash and oil change in the area of the shooting. Assets he's sold off since being on the run. We've exhausted a lot. Um, so we're turning to Channel 7 once again. That's where you come in. Authorities say Blair is well known, even offering a reward for information leading to his capture. We know that he has family not only here in Detroit, we know he has family in Ohio, we know he has family in Illinois, um, and we're watching him. And in addition to facing charges themselves, Watson has a warning for anyone who may be helping him hide. The next victim could be one of their family members. Take a good look at 43-year-old Kevin Blair. He's 6'3", 250 pounds, and you can call the U.S. Marshals 24-7 at that number on your screen with information on where he may be. And remember, there is a reward being offered for his arrest. I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame, 7 Action News. Here are some